generally speaking, when we build uh, applications, we're, we're writing um, methods in, in uh, Java objects, and we those, those methods call other methods on other Java objects, and it's in a very synchronous fashion. The downside of that is you got some tight coupling, and it just doesn't scale well. Uh, in order for uh, a method to move on with what it's doing, it has to finish up with the method call it just it just made. The, the calls are blocking, and, and it, it it just you just have to wait for those results before you can go on. A a better model, a, a more loosely coupled model, is when we're asynchronously. You're you're making uh, you're handling events, you're handling a streams of data as they flow through a system. And so um, reactive programming is a, is a programming model that's come around um, and been talked about quite a bit in the last few years. And more specifically, I'm going to speak about in this talk, I'm going to speak about uh, Reactor, a spring-based project that enables reactive programming on the JVM. So you can uh, take advantage of loose coupling and uh, asynchronous streams of data style of programming that uh, Reactor offers.